step for any driving of any animal is to make sure that they have good ground manners. To do that, we walk them like a dog. So, hold on a second. Something's wrong here. You should at least see a mini. Okay, mini acquired. Uh, so, they're tiny. They're easy to work with. Okay, mini acquired. So, ground manners. Step number one is anytime you move forward, you give a command to your mini so they understand what you mean by moving forward. The command I like to use is walk on. In this case, I do say their name in case we end up doing something with a pair, which is multiple minis. How exciting is that gonna be? Hopefully in the future. So we say, April, walk on, and we move forward. When we want them to stop, we give one command, no name. This command means to cease movement forward immediately. So we say, hope they need to stop moving, which April did beautifully. They are supposed to stand until given another command. So April is doing a great job of this. She's not getting wiggly. If your horse gets wiggly, we tell them to walk on before they decide to move forward on their own. But in this case, April's doing awesome. She says, yes, I am. So those are your first two steps of learning how to drive your mini. Step one is acquire a mini. Make sure it's a red mare and it's cranky as all hell. Step two is make sure your cranky mare um, will stand still tied to a wall. It understands whoa, which means Whoa means stand. Don't move until I give you another command. That's what whoa means. And make sure she understands how to walk on. And then do a couple obstacles with them. Take them places. Let them go see new and exciting things. And um, all in all, just really enjoy your time with your newfound mini. Oh, and minis need to be paid because they're always starving. So make sure you pay your mini in cookies. walk on so that's it for step one you may or may not need a little more time with this step but get your mini out make sure it understands walk on make sure it understands whoa and let it do some obstacles take it places enjoy your time out with your newfound friend and uh, your big dog with hooves and uh, we'll meet you back for step three. So remember, step one, acquire mini, make sure it looks pretty. Step two, take your mini places, enjoy it, teach it how to whoa, and teach it how to go forward. And then we'll go on to step three. See you next time.